So today is September 24th, 24th, 2020. Uh, just recording the moon today. Um, I'm try I don't have. Um, I'm not using a telescope. I'm using a mobile mo on my phone uh, to record. Hopefully, once I do get a telescope, uh, we'll get better quality. Um, so this is. So if you ever wonder why the moon has like uh, dark spots and w and white bright spots. Uh, it's because when the moon was forming a long time ago, um, it had a lot of volcanic activity. So all the dark spots are all the volcanic ash, or not the volcanic ash, but the volcanic rock. Uh, you know when lava comes out and it gets cold, cold. Uh -huh, and, it, and it hardens to rock, it turns um, black. Um, so that's what we're looking at. And the white powder, powder that looks like powder. Is actually um, dust Ash. that is dust that gets formed uh, after after when the moon gets hit by meteorites or comets, um, anything that impacts the the surface. So, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but I think the white bright spots is called new dirt or new land or something like that, and the dark part of it is called um, old um, surface. Um, right now it's currently a half moon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, currently it's a half moon. So we're just looking at it. I know I haven't done a video in a long time. I, I stopped doing game videos. Um, part of it is because YouTube made it really difficult to record. Not to record, but to um, publish it and put a lot of restrictions on it, on gaming type of stuff. Um, so maybe I might do more, but. In the meantime, oh, you, you saw something bright just popped up on the camera? Uh, I don't know. If I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll go back. It was about 2 minutes and 15 seconds around there. Maybe 2 minutes and two ten. 10. Yeah, 2.10 to 2.15. Um, yeah, so we're out here at night. It's currently 10.30. I'm just recording, looking at the moon. It's great weather, right? How's, how's the wind? Yeah, I like it too. It's nice, fresh, um, not too bad. Not too shabby. Yeah, right on top of it, you you can't see it because of the camera, but it's Jupiter and then Saturn, and then down the road it's Mars. But just we don't have a telescope. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, and yet uh, if I try to adjust the camera, it's gonna make the moon look really bright, bright like a sun. A star and like then, coming up. Yeah. And then even then, we won't be able to get a good image of Jupiter or Saturn yet. But hopefully once we do get a telescope, we'll be able to get better images. Quality and yeah, learn each, about it, basically. Of each planet. So, hopefully more to come. Um, write your comments below uh, on anything you know about the moon or the solar system or the universe. Um, if you ever want to visit the moon or spend a vacation day at the moon, what will you like to do? Uh, I know that in history there was the first person that hit a golf ball, but what will you like to do in the moon? Um, me personally, just probably look at the earth, take some pictures of it, and then see if I can see other celestial planets or galaxies. Uh, from the moon. Um, so write your comments or opinion there. Um, also, do you think the moon will be a good spot between the Earth and Mars? Like, you know how nowadays when you travel through airplane, you have like those connect flights mm -hmm. between one part of the world to another? Um, do you think the moon base will be a, a good idea? And if so, why? And if you think it's not a good idea, then you can leave a comment there as well. And the same thing for the vacation. If you, if you don't want to take a vacation towards the moon, then share your opinion as to why. Personally, I think that would be kind of cool. So. Okay. Yeah, so we'll see. For right now, we're just going to re 
keep recording. Um, hopefully we'll see how the moon continues to go on this trajectory um, downwards as we progress through the night. And again, on, on this day, you should be able to see Jupiter, Saturn, and March. Mars, I'm sorry. Um, and if you have a telescope, you might be even able to see Pluto, because Pluto is in between Jupiter and Mars. So when you see the moon right on top of the, the bright, shiny star on top of the moon, it will be Jupiter, and then in between will be Pluto, and then Saturn. And then as you keep looking, remember it goes into a horizontal, so you just keep going horizontal. On west, when you see like a red star, that's actually Mars. And then underneath it will be um, Venus. Oh, I just lost it. Hold on. 